welcome back to Math with Jen. Today we are going to be looking at place values up to 100,000. We are going to talk about place value going from right to left. That is because the rightmost place value is the smallest value for that number. When you started counting, when you were younger, you counted one, two, three, four, five, right? And that was just a single number. That was representing, and you didn't know it at the time, but that was representing the ones place. Because those were single digit numbers that you were counting to. So you counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When you got to 10, you did 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Anytime you had to write any of those tens, you had to write two digits and that number had to be in this place value. Then when you went from 99, you went to 100. That took you into the next place value of 100. After you do 100, 200, 300, so all the digits in this place value were, are representing hundreds. You have your zero hundred, if you have a zero, you have no hundred. Uh, one, hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred. And when you got to 999, you had to go to 1,000. This is the thousands place. Any digit in the thousands place is representing 1,000 times that digit. So if I have a zero, I have no thousands, right? Zero thousands. I have, if I have a one, it's 1,000. Then 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. And then when you get to 9,999, that takes you to 10,000. So this is the 10,000s place, okay? Any digit in this place value represents that digit times 10,000. Zero would be zero times 10,000. Then you have one times 10,000. So that would be 10,000, then 20,000, then 30,000, then 40. 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000, 90,000. And when you got to 99,999, that takes you to 100,000. And that's where we're stopping for grade three. Grade three only goes up to numbers till you hit that 100,000. Hey, okay, we're going to look at 88,888. Now, the reason why I chose the same digit for each of the place values is so that we can really talk about what the place values are representing. This eight, this eight is talking about eight ones. So that is eight times one. I have eight ones, eight times one. This place value, remember, is the tens place. So this is talking about eight times 10. I have 80, right? 8 times 10. This is the tens place. So that 8 is telling me 8 times 10. This place value is 100. So I know the place value is hundreds. Uh, and I have 8 of those. So 8 times 100. This place value is 1,000. So I have 8 times 1,000. And then finally, this place value is 10,000. So this is eight times 10,000. Not only do we, are we looking at the place value, but we're looking at the number that's in the place value. So this eight in the ones place is representing a value of eight. This eight in the tens place is representing a value of 80. Eight in the hundreds place is representing 800. The eight in the thousands place, 8,000. And then the eight in the 10,000s place 
is representing 80,000. If you look at these numbers, look at we have 880, 800, 8,000, 80,000. This 8 times 10 gives me 80. 80 times 10 gives me 800. 800 times 10 gives me 8,000. 8,000 times 10 gives me 80,000. Each time you move from one place value to the next greater place value, it's increasing by 10 times what it was before. We are going to write this in what's called expanded form. Expanded form is when you take each digit and you say what that digit is representing using the place value. We're gonna go ahead and start with the lowest place value. This is the ones place, so we have four times one. I'm gonna add that value to what the one is in the tens place. So I have one times 10. Next one we're gonna look at is three. The number three is in the hundreds place. That means I have three times 100. When I go to the seven, the seven is in the thousands place. So that's seven times a thousand. When I go to the six, that six is in the 10 thousands place. So that's six times 10,000. And this is called expanded form. Expanded form is when you're taking each of those digits in the number and you're relating it to the place value that it's in. And then, then when you combine those together, when you add those together to get that sum, it'll be that number that you are representing. Four times one is four. One times 10 is 10. Three times 100 is 300. Seven times a thousand is seven thousand, and then six times ten thousand is sixty thousand. Okay, write this number down as sixty thousand with the seven thousand. So sixty plus seven is sixty seven thousand three hundred ten, but with the ten and the four, we would say fourteen, we wouldn't say ten four. Sixty seven thousand three hundred and fourteen. I'm going to go this time from left to right. I'm going to take the digit four that's in the thousands place, multiply it by a thousand. The one, I'm going to add that to the one digit that's in the hundreds place. So I'm multiplying it by a hundred. Then I'm going to add that to the five digit, but that five is in the tens place. So it's not just worth five, it's worth five times 10. And then I'm going to take the three and multiply it by one. And you'll see this is 4,000 plus 100 plus 50 plus 3. 4,153. And this number, the greatest place value we have is 10 thousandths. So I'm going to do 2 times 10 thousandths plus 6 times 1,000, right? That six is in the thousands place, plus seven times 100, plus five times 10, plus zero times one. The digit two is in the 10 thousands place. The digit six is in the thousands place. Digit seven is in the hundreds place. Digit five is in the tens place. And the digit zero is in the ones place. 20,000 plus 6,000 plus 700 plus 50 plus zero gives us the 26,750. This time I'm gonna give it to you in expanded form. So this first one is one times 10,000. So that's 10,000, right? Three times 1,000, 3,000. Five times 100, 500. 
9 times 10 is 90, plus 9 times 1 is 9. If you want to go ahead and start writing it without doing this next step, that's okay too, because you know what place value is talking about. It's talking about the 1s for the 9, the 10s for the 9, the 100s place for the 5, the 3 is in the 1000s place, and then the 1 is in the 10,000s place. So both ways will get you the answer. What is each of the digits value based on that place value? Hope you enjoyed learning about place value up to the hundred thousands and how to write those numbers in expanded form. Thank you for joining and I will see you in the next video. Bye.